What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys today we are checking out the weaponized Tampa. If you guys want to get this you can get it on Warstock. Normal price is 2.1 million. Trade price 1.5 and this week there is also a 40% discount so you can get it for very cheap. If you guys want the trade price by the way you just have to complete the MOC mission. So the mobile operations center mission with the weaponized Tampa and then you have it. So first of all the customization you can do this in three locations first of all the mobile operations center with the weapon and vehicle workshop the avenger with the vehicle workshop and then also the arena workshop with the weapon specialist the things that you can customize first of all for example the armor plating it doesn't really have a use though you also can put proximity mines on them so you can drop them behind you like for example with the dune fav also the regular option the engine upgrades all of that of course like on any vehicle and then the last option the most important option is the weapons three types of weapons that you can put on it all of them can be put on the vehicle at the same time so you don't have to pick between them first of all you have the missile launchers at the front for 85k then the rear firing mortar for 92k i will show you guys in a bit how that works and then the last type is the dual remote minigun. Now when you buy it, the stock edition already has a fixed minigun on it. But the big difference is basically that the stock edition is fixed. You can't aim with it freely. And then the upgraded version, the dual remote minigun, is a minigun that you can aim with freely. And it's also dual, of course. In my opinion, this is the best weapon. So definitely go for this one first if you don't have a lot of money. The rest of the customization on this vehicle, by the way, also pretty decent. Pretty cool looking vehicle. You can make it look very nice. Nice. but of course the best thing about it is just the weapons and then also of course the proximity mines so first of all let's take a look at the weapons the stock edition so the normal fixed machine gun is actually pretty decent as well the only thing that i can say about it that's bad is basically that it's fixed and the aim is a little bit hard but the damage is definitely good then the big difference between the fixed one and the dual one with the dual one you have a free aim so even a helicopter you can take out and of course you can also aim to the back and you can just aim freely and this is of course a lot easier so definitely worth getting in my opinion then the launchers one disadvantage they don't lock on so it's free aim and also you only have 20 of them before you have to reload so you basically have to request your vehicle again so you can reload them you don't have to buy the missiles again some people think that but you just have to request the vehicle again the range on it is pretty good though so over here i was at the sandy shores airfield you guys can see it goes very far before it explodes so that's of course also a very good thing then the rear mortars this is basically how it looks so by the way guys if you want to fire these weapons all of them just with l1 on playstation so the regular button that you use to fire and you can switch between them just like you switch between your guns in your car so the rear mortar it's not the best one it's the worst one in my opinion but still if you have someone following you you can just use it you can just shoot random the aim is pretty hard with it though the rear mortars by the way only 20 of them and then you also have to go and reload just like with the launchers then also the proximity mines with the proximity mines you have a unlimited amount so you basically just place a proximity mine behind you if you press the horn button so l3 on playstation but the thing is you can only have five of them active so this is the case with any vehicle on gta that has proximity mines so over here you guys can see it you see like the little lights and when you have five proximity mines on the floor active so non-exploded yet and when you place a sixth one then the first one that you placed will basically disappear so proximity mines just if a car drives over it it will explode it's actually a better option than the rear mortars in my opinion then when it comes to the armor the windows not armored at all so this is of course a huge disadvantage to this car also the armor against missiles one rocket and it's already destroyed guys so the weapons in general very good you have four options if you count in the proximity mines as well you can all use them solo this is of course a great thing the armor though is very shit though guys i have to be honest it would have been a very op vehicle if the armor was also good but it is what it is guys the handling by the way on this vehicle also pretty good for a armored vehicle and then also the speed pretty fast for a armored vehicle as well so nothing wrong with that in general i would definitely recommend the weaponized tampa the only bad thing is the armor like i said but for the rest i think this is a very fun vehicle a lot of cool weapons on it and if you have the trade price it's also not even that expensive so guys that was it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe check out my discord in the description and peace out you guys